Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the extreme rise that we've seen here on Bitcoin and what this leaves us with in terms of targets and where you could potentially look to get in on this uh, if you miss the boat. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video where I'm going to try my hardest to control my EO uh, but I, I, I'm going to warn you in advance, it's, it's going to be a little bit difficult but uh, please don't take it the wrong way. Uh, so let's, let's just begin here. I'm, 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 as you could probably tell, I am like over the moon happy with this move. It's it's been brilliant. Okay, so let's review firstly the, the you know where we bounced out of. Okay, so as we all know, overall the key level for me was this seven thousand four hundred. This is where I was making my like spot buys, new but new Bitcoin added in because for me the opportunity at this level was absolutely brilliant. It really was. Okay, and I made that very clear that I was buying here. Okay, but what, what were the reasons? Okay, so let me explain you all this. Okay, specifically, we had the low of these wicks. So e.g. there's a lot of liquidity resting under these lows. Okay, so people that had been longing, maybe people that were long from 3k, 5k, 8k, 10k, people that bought up here, where are stops going to be placed? Okay, stops are going to be placed between b below this key pivot. Okay, what we can see, okay, when we zoom down then into that key pivot, 7,400. We saw many wicks onto 7,400. Never got the close below. Never got the close below. So, as uh, you know, even from like Elliott Wave perspectives, you know, there was a, a room for a leg down here. So, many people waiting for that leg down have absolutely potentially missed the boat. Uh, and I'm sure they're feeling great uh, frustration of, of missing that. And I'm not here to gloat. I'm just here to say, you know, this is where averaging in is obviously a good idea, for example. But um, what we can see here when we come down to the 15 minute. Okay, let's come down to the 15 minute, clearly range bound, clearly range bound for a few days after that big expansion, you know, to the downside consolidation here. And then that led to, a, you know, great expansion to the upside. And what this totally reminded me of was this move down here. Okay, it really reminded me of this drop down, consolidation, rise to the upside and the rise to the upside, which everybody tries to short, which is crazy. I did not enter a single short all day. Okay, and this is all documented in my group. I did not enter a single short all day and I was also uh, telling people kind of, I obviously I, I don't tell people what to do, but I was giving my perspective that it's crazy to enter a short <laughs> um, because it really, to me, looked like that same sort of idea where we saw the drop down consolidation rise to the upside, which everybody tries to short. They just get absolutely short squeezed. Um, and that was the idea that I had here. Okay. That I really felt that this was the consolidation rapid rise through all resistances. People just get wrecked trying to short it. And also co compiled with this, which I wrote in detail in the group, was that many people did not buy 7.4k. You know, you have these sort of expert traders that have been trading two years that give their opinions and, and people listen to them crazily enough, you know, saying, oh, this is going down to 3k. This is going down to 4k. The more charts of this that I saw, the more bullish that I got. On top of that, so you have people that missed the boat. You also have people that late shorters. So people that saw the rise, you know, saw the drop, got absolutely scared and thought it was going, you know, at least to 6k, let's say, and, and start loading up on shorts here. This is not a good place to open a short, okay? Unless you're day trading, it's a really bad place. So you got a mixture of reasons why this rise. You got firstly the people short in here getting liquidated. You got the people that were waiting for let's say 7k. Uh, essentially see this start rising, they start feeling the FOMO. And then you've got people that on the rise itself start shorting it and they also just get stopped out, stopped out, stopped out. So that's why you get such a, a quick rise to the upside. And, and for me the signs were there, okay, really were there. Just like I saw the signs for this drop down, <laughs> totally saw the signs for this rise. So this is where my ego, I need to control it because I absolutely nailed that move, to be honest. Um, so yeah, now that, where does that leave us on the midterm? Okay, so midterm, I have taken 30% of my, my profits from my buys at 7,400. So I myself am extremely content with that. But where does that leave us now for, for targets? That's what I'm sure what you're all wanting to know. I think very simply, very simply, 382 has to be a level that you'd be looking at. Okay, that's coming in at 8,093. Uh, so if you get this drop down to 8,000, one has to view value in that area. And I'm not even saying, I, I don't want to get everybody super excited, super bullish saying, yeah, we're going straight to 20,000, nothing like that, okay? You have to remember, this is trading, there's no guarantees, and this could be a high, you know, and we're coming down to new lows, you know, I'm, I, I cannot rule that out of the book because I'm, I'm a trader, I trade off of probabilities, not absolutes, okay? That would be very naive to trade off absolutes and saying, yeah, this is definitely going up, okay? I, I understand that this could be a, a pump and, and, and going down. But at the end of the day, I will trade this any way it comes. But on the short term, one has to say, well, that is a very nice move. And it kind of fits in with an Elliott wave count where if we, if we had that WXY ending here and that was the overall one too, that's a great start of a third wave. Absolutely, it is 14%, you know, and possibly still going here. 
you've got to be looking at the resistance, you know, if this was a deviation of the low of the channel, possibly coming up to around 8,800 where you could see resistance again, coming up to that 9,000, 9,250, 9,700, if this really gets start to flowing through a follow through, okay? Or if you're bearish here, you could say, well, the top is potentially in and, uh, well, I'd be looking down to at least 8,000, you know, 7,900 again and, you know, lower targets, I'm not saying they're impossible. I just say take it a step at a time. There's no need to be rushing into a trade after such a move that we've seen here. You know, give this a little bit of time to cool off. Uh, don't rush into anything. But, you know, obviously... Uh, you know, you're probably might, some of got to get mad about this, but I did made it very clear not just to my group. I was also very transparent on Twitter that I was also buying this. You know, some people there just waiting for you know lower prices. I was buying this, and what was really nice was on the Great British Pound, we actually hit the six one eight. Obviously, Great British Pound being my market where I buy, um, we also hit the six one eight on on uh, Coinbase on the Great British Pound view. You know, itself where I really did view that as a great opportunity to be buying with you know fresh fiat in. in this market and you know do i did i expect a a 15 rise in a few hours you know no i'll be honest i didn't expect a 15 rise in a few hours but am i complaining absolutely not <laughs> um so yeah that's just trading that's just crypto for you brilliant it really is um Okay, so moving on, the last pattern that I would like to cover, which, um, you know, helped me, as assisted me in getting the move down and getting this move back up, obviously being the Elliott Wave count, you know, helpful, but also ending with the, uh, you know, the bullish sharp pattern that we had going on here, you know, the harmonics, okay, where we obviously went from X to A to B to the 0.5, down to C over the 1618 extension to 7,400, which held perfectly, as I showed you all, and the target of this is coming up to around 9,000, and as I kind of was like you know, joking with the group, I guess, like saying, I will have to retire. I'm not going to retire, by the way, but, you know, I could retire. Uh, <laughs> but um, if we hit seven, if 7,400 helps and goes on to target, and this, by the way, was posted, getting the move down to 7,400, buying 7,400, and then getting the rise now, obviously sitting at 8,500. This harmonic is king absolutely king and i'd like to show you another you know please show me another trader that got that one because that was brilliant it nailed the move down got the buys and then coming back up to the top you know if 4000 holds goes on to hit target obviously target being 9000 that top target hasn't been hit yet but halfway there very nice indeed and when we come down to this you can see that key level of 7400 absolutely holding brilliantly um Pretty happy with that. And I guess the rest of the team are that also loaded up at uh, 7,400 with me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I know I've tried to control my ego, but it's probably come through. <laughs> I'm just really, really happy to be honest. Also happy that the team managed to like make proper bank with me as well today. And it's just like great profits all around, I guess. Uh, then, you know, trying to just concentrate and stop being an idiot i guess for some people uh you know in terms of targets and looking at this sensibly with no emotion well your first sr level has to be 8200 8300 say uh dropping down to, to the, this key level at the 382 slash the you know 8000 level if you start losing 8000 yeah you could entertain the possibility that this was more of a pump and, and coming down for lower levels but i think it would be uh, a sensible idea to try and you know at least take some scope longs off of these retracements after such a move okay but you can never rule out that we're you know we're going straight up to 9,000 you have to you know entertain and and you know trade what the chart's giving you and at the moment this is obviously very bullish but you know just as like this it was bullish you know this is crypto <laughs> and just like that it can change bearish so you, you have to you have to keep an open perspective don't you know don't get tied to a bias don't marry any sort of opinions stay very open on the charts trade what's given to you okay really trade what's given to you and I guess a takeaway listen to people that have got experience in this market and not some guy off of twitter that's been trading a year you know just i don't know blows my mind that people pay so much attention to those sort of things but um yeah that's all i'm going to say on that and and ending with the words trade the chart hope that you manage to you know possibly get in of some of those great opportunities with me and uh yeah uh, i hope that you've enjoyed i'll give a proper update tomorrow once this has calmed down a bit or tomorrow or the next few days i'll give a proper update for you all uh i'm, I'm probably gonna go and do a live stream now for the actual champions or the group i might open it up to the whole group but i'm gonna do a live stream for them now give a, another update i hope you've enjoyed this uh live stream or not live stream but just an update video i'll give you a, a more in-depth one tomorrow once we've seen the consolidation and i'll catch you in the next video cheers everybody and good night bye cheers